Okay, guys, welcome back. Shinozaki, Shinozaki, snap out of it. Erg. Gas pant wheeze, cough. Wheeze, wheeze, sputter, cough. Shinozaki, are you okay? Or are you alright? Hick weep sob. I feel like it would be fun to be a voice actor, but I feel also like I could never get into it. Damn, that's a long lag. Uh, it's okay. Everything's okay, okay? Come on, Shinozaki. Everything's fine. You're safe. <laughs> Snork. <laughs> what the? Whimper sob. That's what happened to me. What was it like? What did you see? I saw the true identity of the, the murderer. Huh? That's why the damn doll wasn't enough. Repetence from the killer. We had the wrong person. Wait, are you telling me you were actually there? Like you saw the scene of the murders? That's exactly what I'm saying. I was seeing everything through Yuki's eyes. I was bound and then I was killed. God damn it, you little piece of... It's not her fault. I'm the one who wanted to know. The murderer was a little girl. You remember the newspaper article Suzumoto showed us? Her photo was in it, along with her name. It's the girl in the red dress, Sachiko Shinozaki. She was listed as one of the victims, but believe me, she's no victim. What? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> no, that can't be right. That's impossible for a little girl to do something like that. How could she abduct other children her own age and keep them prisoner, no less? I could believe it if it were if it were that monster with the hammer. He seems fully capable of kidnapping and tying up little kids any day of the week. He was just an accomplice. When these children were killed by Sachiko, the man with the hammer was in the corner of the room quaking in fear. You can't be serious. I have no idea why he would have helped Sachiko in the first place, though. We have to tell the others, Machida and Miss Yui. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess. Even Naho wasn't able to find out the whole truth, and she'd been in there longer than any of us. If you don't hurry up and tell them, they'll be dead before they ever find out. If Sachiko ca catches them unaware, it could all be over. We have to go back. Yuki, please. Take us back to the into the closed spaces. We'll find a way to exorcise you and all the other spirits trapped in Heavenly Host, I swear. I wouldn't recommend that. As a result of your interference, as well as the interference of your friends, those spaces are in a state of critical flux right now. If I were to take you back, even if I kept this clarity of mind the whole time, I doubt I'd ever be able to bring you home again. But if we don't go back, everyone's going to die. Kishinuma? Let's go, please, for our friends. Come on, from Ochida. Uh, I mean, I know that we're both going to have to go back, but I don't know which one is the right choice. Fine, damn it, we'll go back, after all. I don't have a lot of real friends, I'd hate to lose the ones I do. What's that? What are you mumbling about? Nothing, nothing at all. Going in, then? I'm pretty sure if you do the other one and you're like, oh, she's freaking crazy. She goes in without you and then you go in afterwards anyways. I, I, I think that it doesn't really matter, that choice. Maybe it does, though. I don't know. I was hoping I could just, I could go see Miki one, uh, just once more, but I guess I'll have to put that aside. Who's Miki? Hey, look at us. Oh, we can play! Rows of dead black bugs nearly raged inside. What say you? By the way, I missed like five uh, ID tags during the chase scene. You have to like, you still have to explore while you're being chased, but I just wanted to get it done with. 
Swashing to all the trespassers. Cool. So now we are technically in the real heavenly host. Oh, hey. You Yuki. I'm sorry, I really am. But I wish you the best of luck. This is something I think Satoshi and the others may need. If you find them, please give it to them for me. Acquired marble statue. Hmm? Why don't you give it to them yourself? Because she's following them around the school right now. I can't get close enough. There's another statue like it, though. A red one. If you find it, make sure they get that one, too. Understood. Get a red statue. Okay. The three of us are prepared for the challenges ahead now that our tongues have been restored. But due to our momentary awakening, the balance of these closed spaces has begun to collapse. Be very, very careful. Also remember, in order for Sachiko to feel remorse, you must appeal to her humanity. You must purify her soul. It's the only way. My mind has already come under attack. So, the next time you see me, run. She's gone. Yeah, for now, let's just focus on finding Satoshi and Miss Yui and the others. So aside from Miss Yui, the only other people that we've seen so far are Suzumoto and, Mor and Morishige. And we explored pretty much everywhere. You sure the others are even here? Well, think about it. Remember? The closed spaces? The first ghost we saw told us all about them when we got here with Miss Yui. Basically, anyone we can't find uh, is probably in another version of the school. Which is why we never ran into them. Is there something you failed to understand? Huh? Uh, no, I... yeah. But, wait a minute, if that's the case, how the hell are we supposed to tell them about the murderer? I mean, if we can't even find them. Yugi just told us. She said the closed spaces have started breaking down. That might mean... should mean that the connections between the dimensions are changing too. So come on, let's try searching for them again, Miss Shisudo and everyone else. Okay, got it. Oh god, I feel seized. It's not coming out. For real? When I say I got it, I got it. <laughs> that just reminded me of Aaron from Game Grumps. Although, if it's not those child spirits summoning hordes of innocent people to the school and trapping them here until they die, then you kind of have to ask yourself, who is responsible, you know? I know! Yeah. So with this one, we pretty much have to explore a shit ton. A shit ton. A fuck ton. A shitty fuck ton. Uh, we have to explore, like, everywhere and everything. Oh, that was the only gameplay. Come on. Maybe I can hide them under- Oh, that's right, because you still had to pee. Ugh, I can't- I can feel the air on my- mm, Feels so weird. Yeah, I don't like going bare briefed either. But I can't wear them wet like that, it's gross. It's true. Wine. Eek! Uh, it's been nothing but earthquakes since I got here. I hope the school doesn't fall apart. Also, I can't remember if Yuka's secret is actually revealed in the game, or if it's only in the anime. Slash manga. Big brother, big brother! <laughs> sob, big sob. Did you guys notice, though, the difference in the color scheme? So, Heavenly Host before was mostly blue-themed. Like, it had a lot of blue tones in it. This one is much more brown, which is why you know that this is the real one. Oh, good. More play? Yay, more play! Uh, hey, doesn't anything look different for to you? Uh. Very. This isn't the same school we were in before. It's a totally different heavenly host. Yeah, and its creepy factor is through the roof. The chill in the air, the constant dark presence. Okay. We need to find the others and get the hell out of here. Sometimes it just skips without me needing to press anything. Yeah. Sometimes it waits for me. There are skeletal remains here. Some, some stuff. Okay, so we gotta explore. Uh, everywhere and everything. Okay, so there's no opening there. We've got this guy, which doesn't have a bridge yet. Um, let's go this way. Damn it, we can't. Fuck. Okay, then down we go. I guess down was where we're supposed to go. So, um, 
I am technically using a walkthrough with this, but only on the spots that I really get stuck on. Ah, the blood is still there. When is he gonna notice it? Oh, uh, hey, Shinozaki, um, what is it? Are you hurt? You've got a- oh, there you go. You've got a whole lot of blood on your, um, posterior. Huh? What? Are you serious? You scrape your butt on a piece of broken wood or something? Looks kind of like- uh, looks kind of paint. <laughs> Excuse me, shut the hell up already, jeez. Just look the other way for a minute. Huh? God, does that boy have no concept of tact? Damn it all. What do I do about this? I don't have my gym bags here, so I can't- So change of clothes is out of the question. I really don't want to meet up with Mochido or the others looking like this, though. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it! I can't take this anymore. What is that? Oh my god, it's a student idea from Kisaragi Academy. Someone we know must be nearby. I wonder whose it is. Ah, it's Nakashima's. No mistaking it, it's even still got the scrap of paper from the Sachiko charm. Acquired namely student ID. Shunozaki, what the hell is taking so long? Hmm? Is that someone's student ID? It's Nakashima. She must be somewhere nearby. Nakashima, are you there? If you are, please answer me. Nope. <laughs> Guess she's not that nearby. Let's look for her. She can't be far. Let me read the sign on the wall. Oh my god. Big brother. Ah, that's hot. Yuka, honestly, who bites their siblings on the shoulder? And why are you blowing air on me? Oh my god. Whoosh, whoosh. Hee hee hee. She's so fucking crazy. Big brother, it's time for dinner. Mm. Oh. oh, is it that late already? I'll be right down, thanks. But next time, how about telling me rather than doing whatever it is you just did? No can deal. Uh. See, that kind of behavior would be adorable if you were actually like four, but but because you're like 13, <laughs> it's a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> what a goofball. Look at me walk. Oh my God. She left the door open again, too. You guys have a conjoining room? You go. Guess that was just a dream. Ow. Ooh, my head is throbbing. It's pitch black, too. What happened? I remember there was a big earthquake. Hmm? What's this? There's something in my hand. It's a boob. It's really tender. It's like some kind of meat? What the hell am I- It's a boob. You got a boob in your hand. Wah! I, uh... Uh, Satoshi? Naomi, I'm sorry. Please don't misunderstand. I didn't mean it. Satoshi, is your head okay? Eh? A beam fell on your head during the earthquake, and it started bleeding. Your face is really red. I guess it must hurt. Thank you for shielding me. Also, another thing that I forgot to mention, the difference between this version and the DS version, is uh, the very first scene, instead of just screaming, he actually does kind of trip and fall on Naomi and grab her boob there too in the very very beginning so I don't know why they put that in instead of just having him scream really loud but this is technically the second time that he's grabbed her boob in fear <laughs> uh, think nothing of it and I'm fine I'm not bleeding anymore at least you're not oh hello TV I love when you start playing automatically. Wow, this is incredible. What is this place? Where are we? Deep breath, Tagachi. Stay calm. Keep a steady hand and don't stop filming. I want every last detail captured on video. Don't miss even a single speck on the wall. 
Yes, sir. Ah, oh, there's are pretty much exactly the same, actually. That's really interesting. There's their avatars haven't changed at like like almost at all. I think there's a little bit more detail to them, but they're pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> Amazing, I can't believe it worked. This is sure to get me the recognition I deserve. With this footage, with this film, the occult genre will be completely reborn. Alright, let's get started. I think it's about time we begin penning our third strange but true article. Experiencing this place in the flesh which should prove a sufficient enough muse to get the words flowing. Okay. They're in this building, aren't they? This is that tape you put in earlier, right? Yeah, the camera didn't seem to work before, though. No power, no batteries. Looks like research footage taken by whoever it was that brought it here. Man, this place is unbelievable. Everywhere you look, there's something written down. I don't want to die? Wow, crazy stuff. Just be careful, we don't have a lot of data on this place yet. We have no idea what might happen here. It's best not to touch anything. Eh, you're no fun. With such a deliciously dark scenery all around us, I want to ha- I- wait, I have to at least take in our surroundings, you know? I suppose you do. Damn straight, this is unreal! You think it was the right thing to do, though? Coming here without that girl, Naho? She ain't gonna be too pleased. She'll be all like, why do you guys always do the fun stuff without me? Huh, that sounded about right. Maybe I should have done a different voice for that, but whatever. But this is different from our previous excursions. I can't justify putting her in this kind of danger. Eh? True. But she's sure not gonna be happy- gonna see it that way, sorry. Is that the real deal? It looks that way. A dead body. An actual dead body. This is bad, really, really bad. We gotta get out of here. Look at her uniform. It's from our era. It's new. I'm sure this place accounts for a whole bunch of missing children reports. And here they are, just rotting away. Oh, what kind of hell have we stumbled into? You're right, we're in danger here. You said you know a way out, right? A way out? Ah, uh, yes. The way out. I forgot, I never did go over that with you. It's... Ah! What's wrong? Damn it. I heard a voice, a child's voice, children's voices. Seriously? Listen, listen! Can't you hear them? Where the hell are they coming from? Phew! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Calm down, I'm listening, but I don't hear anything. Also, excuse me. How many voices are there? Are they boys, girls? Mr. Kibiki! Mr. Kibiki! There was something there, right there, just a few seconds ago! Where? This is like Ghost Hunters. There, right over there! Hey, you! Wait, stop! Hold up! Oh. Are you alright? Oof. I'm really sorry. I stepped on something in the camera. Is it alright? Seems to be. Jeez, goddamn, why are you screaming so much? Taguchi, where are you going? Damn it, the tape's almost full. Where do you put our uh, where do you put our blanks? Huh. Guess that's the end. I wonder what this way out might be. Just what it sounds like, and it, I imagine, unfortunately, the recording was a bit lacking in details. The reporter was looking for blank tapes, though, so there's probably a follow-up. After we rejoin with Yuka, let's make finding that a priority. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Alright, for now, let's just see about getting into that second building. Excuse me. Erd. Guess we leave the camera. It's pretty much stuck to the TV. So... Not exactly ideal, since it means we have to come back here to watch the next tape. Well, you know. What, what about this closet? What about this closet? Alright, fine. Well, let's, uh, let's explore! Huh? Yes, everything is different. What? What's going on? The 
School's completely changed. Guess that wasn't just an earthquake after all. Yeah, it's like we were feeling the building expand and contract around us again. Either way, we need to get moving, come on. Okay, wait, hold up a second, Satoshi. Hmm? You've got splinters all over your back. Oh, gross. Hey! Ooh, body! Isn't that... Satoshi? Is Satoshi in Nakashima? Yeah, I guess the close places really have started to break down. Come on! Right behind you! Satoshi! Nakashima! Jinx. You're alright! Class rep, oh thank god, I was hoping we'd run into you. Me too. I was beginning to wonder what I'd do without you guys. Yoshiki. Huh? Pretty sorry lot we've drawn, huh? <sighs> no. God, poor Suzumoto. And Shinohara too. That's crazy. God damn it, she was just with us a few hours ago. Smiling and laughing. Why, why? Why is this happening to us? At any rate, let's make sure we don't lose anyone else. In fact, consider it an order from your class rep. We're going to find Miss Yui, Morishige, and Yuka. And get the hell out of here together. Yeah, you bet we are. Remember, the murderer is Sachiko. If you run into her, be very careful. Based on what we've been told by Naho and Yuki, if we can get Sachiko to express remorse for her actions, then the three victims she killed will be appeased. The field around the school building will be lifted. And we should theoretically be able to get out of here and go home. Sachiko, the girl in the red dress. How do we get her to express remorse, though? That is the question. Well, what about you two? What can you tell us about this way out you mentioned? Not a lot, unfortunately. The reporter talked about some specific means of getting home, but he was cut off before he could explain it. He was looking for a blank tape, though, when it ended, so there's probably a continuation somewhere. Look for a label that says Kibiki Research da Data, Data, whatever. Wait, did you say Kibiki? Yes, that's right. If we can figure out how, uh, what sort of method he had in mind for getting out of here, we won't have to get mixed up with ghosts and curses anymore. Seems like it'd be a lot simpler than... How did you put it? Appeasing the spirits? The problem with that is, it doesn't really fix anything. Escaping by putting the spirits to rest, that's the method Naho explained to me. And I don't think it's the same thing as Kibiki's way out. I'm guessing Naho wants to put a stop to this once and for all, to keep the curse from spreading any farther. If we leave things the way they are, and just escape with our lives like you like you're suggested, the countless innocent children are going to get pulled in here for god knows how many years to come and they'll all they're all going to die horribly. That may be true, but we're just high school students. How can we possibly expect us to set things right? There has to be a way to make Sachiko atone for her sins. There just has to be. And we're going to look for it. God, how can you just decide right off the bat that this plan has no chance of succeeding? Is it because I'm the one who suggested it? What? No, of course not. Come on, we have to work together on this. How about the two of us look for more information on Kibiki's way out? And continue searching for Yuka, of course, while you two search for Miss Yui. Sounds good. Once everyone's been found, we'll get back here. Satoshi, got something for you? Hmm? Don't know what it is, but the girl ghost we made friends with said to give it to you. Come on, let's go. Class rep, take care, okay? Nakashima? Hmm? Don't get too close to Mochita. Huh? <sighs> yep, they both love the same boy. Hey, Shinozaki. Hey, what is it? Don't think you look discouraged enough. Try scowling some more. Nakashima's student ID and the paper doll scrap. I forgot to give them back. We can do that later. There's no hurry. Really, things are starting to look up. This is definitely not the time to mope. I let my personal feelings cloud my judgment and spoke harshly towards a classmate for no reason. And I'm the class representative. Not here you aren't. Here you're just plain old Ayumi Shinozaki. And you were just being honest. I probably would have been just as curt with her if I were in your shoes. Seriously? Eh, uh, maybe. That 
actually makes me feel a little better. Thanks. Don't mention it. Really, though, even if we did track down Sachiko, I don't think... Uh, I don't have the slightest idea how we could possibly elicit any remorse from her. Let us try to find... Uh, let's just try to find Miss Yui, and then even if we have to use that way out. Let's get the hell out of here, all of us together. You bet. You are now following multiple parties. You may only directly control one party at a time, however. If you wish to switch from one party to the other, you may do so by stepping into the, th the thingies. <laughs> Ooh, notes. Ooh, notes. Can I move? <gasps> I can move! Okay, great. Now that there's actual gameplay going on, I'm gonna end this episode here, and we are going to actually play in the next episode and see what happens. I'll see you guys then. Bye!